my channel. Before starting this project, I want to share the steps which you will be following in this tutorial. In the first step, we will learn about the logic building of base solving robot and then make it suitable. Then in the second step, we will we will make Connaught maps or K maps following a true table and derive simplified expressions. In the third step, I will show you the logic diagram of resulting expression. Lastly, we will make and explain the complete circuit diagram of robotic car based on our previous working and then I will show you its testing video. So let us start now. I have chosen this two-wheel robotic car for this project as it is easy to make a simple logic which using only two wheels. But I hope after watching this video guide that you can make this project for a four-wheel robotic car as well. Consider this simple maze and here is our car. Before moving further, let me introduce some variable names which I will be using throughout this video. I will be using variable F for forward IR sensor and L for the left one. At start, we will move our car near to the maze wall so that its left sensor becomes high. Here is the truth table uh, with the four possible inputs of L and F. There are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. RF is, RF is representing right wheel uh, moving in the forward direction. Similarly, RB for the right wheel moving in the backward direction. LF for the left wheel moving in the forward direction. And LB for the left wheel moving in the backward direction. At start, the value of left sensor will be 1 and the value of the front sensor will be 0. In this case, we want our car to move in a straight path. So we will move both the right and left wheel in the forward direction. So I will just high the right and the left wheel in the forward direction. Now as it approaches the corner of the as it approaches the corner of the maze, the value of the left and right sensors become high, which is this condition. Now we want our car to rotate at 90 degrees clockwise. So we will make the left wheel move in the forward direction and right wheel and right wheel move in the backward direction. As due to inertia, it might be possible that the car will not stop exactly at 90 degrees. So now the value of left and front sensor both are zero. In this position, we want our car to adjust its position. So we will move the right wheel in the forward direction while keeping the left wheel stationary. Now again the value of the left sensor is one and right is zero. So both the wheels will move forward and car will exit the maze. Still we have one condition left which is 1 0. Suppose that somehow car manages to move to this location. This situation can be possible when a car takes a turn from a corner. Now we want our car to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So we will move the right wheel in the forward direction keeping the left wheel stationary. Now again, left will become 1 and front is 0. And the car will move in the forward direction and exit the maze. Now that we have completed our truth table, let us move to the next step. That is making corner maps and deriving simplified expressions for RF, RB, LF and LB. As we have only two inputs, that is L and F, we will make two cross two K maps. Simply fill the K maps according to the truth table. For example, for RF, when F and L both are zero, output is one. Similarly, for zero one, output is one. For one zero, output is zero, and for one one, output is again zero. We will fill the remaining K maps using the similar approach.
after we have completed our k maps we will encircle a pair of ones and now we will write the equations according to the encircle ones this is rf is equals to f complement rb is equals to f lf is equals to l and lb is bounded now we will do our third step that is making a logic diagram we will use a derived expressions to make a logic diagram from these equations we can see that rf is connected to the knot of f rb is directly connected to f similarly lf is directly connected to l and lb is grounded so a logic diagram will something look like this so finally our logic diagram is so simple we are using only a one knot gate now let us move to the last and final step that is to make a circuit diagram these are the components you will need a 7805 voltage regulator two ir sensor modules two motors our motor driver ic namely l293d 7404 ic which is a not yet ic and a 9 volt battery first we will make the power connections the ground net includes the middle leg of 7805 rounds of both sensors ground of ic 7404 which is not ic the two grounds of l293d and the other two grounds of l293d that should be totally four grounds of l293d for powering the motor driver ic we will use direct 9 volts so we will connect the 9 volts to the plus v motor pin of l293d then we will connect the 5 volt supply the not gate ic vccs of both l and f sensor the enable one of l293d the enable two of l293d and positive v which is used as the high logic level in switching inside ic now our circuit is powered up and we will proceed with the remaining connections first connect the motors in this way now let us mark the left and right side of ic we have to connect outputs of left and front sensors according to our previously derived expressions which are these starting from rf which is right forward pin of motor driver ic in our case it is i in 4 this right there as rf is equal to the f complement so we will take output of f pass it through the not gate and then connect its output with i in 4 for rb that is right bottom input of motor driver ic which is input 3 we will directly connect it to the output of f similarly we will connect input 1 with our output of left sensor and our input 2 will be connected to ground a circuit diagram is completed now i have already implemented it on my car here is the video watching and stay connected for more videos